Okay, Baruch Hashem, another five minutes of Bitacha, and I have to start with an apology that we missed yesterday, and we didn't post a reminder today, so I'm sure many people don't even realize this year is happening, but they will catch the recording. So we're about to start the 25th chapter, which, believe it or not, is the final chapter in this incredible, short, but powerful, it's really one essay of the Beis HaLevi on Bitacha, and people have already started reaching out What's on tap next? Maybe Chavis al Shara Bitachain. We will see. But for now, let's begin this 25th chapter. Teaches the Beis HaLevi. The title, as always, gives away so much. Says the Beis HaLevi, Zacha, Amol Batayra. Loi Zacha, La Amol Yulad. If one merits, he'll toil in Tyra. If one doesn't merit, he'll just be born to toil. And each person has the choice. So each have a choice. What are we going to toil in? Are we going to toil in Taira, in spiritual matters, or or in mundane matters? Says the Bezalevi, a klal gadol. And just to hear this rule, which is a Pasuk in Eov, that itself is enough, really, for the whole Shir. Vinei Klal Gadol, Amar Akasim, teaches the Pasuk in Eov a law, a rule, a mantra for Yiddishkeit. Adam Amol Yulad. We were born to toil. We were put on this world not to sit back and do nothing not to just relax. We are here to put in the hard work, roll up our sleeves, l'amal yulad, says the Beis HaLevi, v'amru b'medrish. The Medrish teaches us, zacha, if one merits, l'amal taira. You have to toil. So what's your toil going to be in? It will be in taira. Loi zacha, what's your toil going to be in? L'amal derech eretz. You'll toil in what? In worldly matters. Dine. Now explains the Beis Halevi. That's a medrash. So the Pasig says you have to toil. The medrash says you have a choice. Either Taira or mundane. Now explains the Beis Halevi. Dine yitzi rasli shel adam. The creation of man. Ikarai hurak liigia v'amol. The purpose, the primary reason for creation is effort, toil. Now, we could choose. You could choose and I could choose. What are we going to toil in? Explains the Beis HaLevi. And really all he's doing is spelling out the words of this Medrash. If one is going to toil in Taira, he won't have to toil in other areas. Now that is an incredible line and really brings out the depth of Bitachain, of connection to Hashem. The more we're connected, the more we toil, the more we invest energies, five minutes a day, a few moments of thought, to connect deeper, to learn a little more Taira. It's a It's a balance. What are we going to have less of? We're going to have less of Amol of Oilam Hazeh. What's Amol Oilam Hazeh? It's, of course, all the things we have to do, all the mundane matters. It's the Barnasa. It's the working hard to get everything that we need. And it's a Mishnah, says the Beis HaLevi. If you say you're going to learn Taira, if you try, you invest energy, you push a little harder, what's going to happen? It's removed from you, the old Malchus and the old Derech Eretz. But now on the flip side, if we don't invest energy into Taira, what does Hashem say? If you think, oh, it's too hard, I can't wake up early, I can't go to sleep late, I can't push myself to learn, I can't find an extra five minutes to learn. 
Shem says, You're exchanging it. You're going to have to work hard anyway. She says, Hashem, ah, you don't want to work hard in Torah. You'll be bothered by a call early in the morning. You'll be bothered by a client who drains you a cup late at night. It's all in balance. Says the Beis HaLevi, the choice is ours. What are we going to toil in? Will it be Taira? Will it be spiritual pursuits? Or will it unfortunately be something else? Have a fabulous day.